Hi Libra, welcome to your September 2018 love reading. It's Raina here. So I am shuffling my Morgan Greer deck, which I normally use for love readings, or in all of my readings actually. And then I will end the reading with the Nakashic Tarot card that I pick. Oops, this one was upright, so put that in the deck. Put them all together. I think that was the only one. You just got your card, the Empress. Okay. Just collecting all these cards. Alrighty. The heart of the matter is the Nine of Pentacles. And this is a card of financial independence. I always connect this card to Virgo. I don't know if that's true, but I think of the month of September is a nine, and Pentacles is Earth. So that's why I think of Virgo. Um, you know, if you are a woman, this could be you as a career woman. And I just did Sagittarius's reading, and I was talking about that, of a woman who's interested in men and saying, I don't need a man because I can take care of myself. And that being wonderful however there could be some times when that self-sufficiency becomes isolating and hard to almost like um, a defense this is like this um, like a wall that is is around a person kind of like an overreaction to feminism and things like that and <laughs> I say that with great trepidation because I'm sure that a lot of women might take offense to that if for me saying that but I think in terms of balance you know if, if ever there is um, one thing I mean this is like you could call this the divine feminine in a way the Empress card even though it's an earth mother energy looking at the archetypes of male and female energy and what they represent the passive the non-active and actually non-active sounds better than passive because people think of passive in, in a weak way but I mean I really mean um, non-action non-action is important because we sometimes need to just be and not do, right? So in relationships, not always being aggressive and having to control, you know, uh, even if you're looking for a relationship and you think, well, how can I have a relationship if I don't try to go out and do it? Well, you know, I think I think sometimes just getting to know someone and not even having an agenda but um, liking them and not having ulterior motives all of these things can lead to great things instead of forcing the issue so whatever that means to you as the nine of pentacles so it's it can be some some person maybe that you've met who's a a Virgo Capricorn Taurus but cross is used the Knight of Swords in the in the challenge position. This could be an ex, someone who is problematic, um, maybe even in the workplace. This is a person who this is a combination of fire and air energy. 
So if they are, you know, astrologically associated with this, maybe like an example would be uh, an Aries with a moon in Libra. And they have that part of them that is very volatile and kind of opinionated and, you know, blunt, and that might kind of ruffle your feathers from now, you know, now and then. But you also find this person to be very intelligent and passionate. But they have this tendency, perhaps, to be um, abusive in speech, even, uh, because this is the challenge position. And so you might feel that you cannot um, be with such a person anymore. And um, in the foundation card, we have the nine of wands. So this could be that you have finally laid down the law with this person. And you basically have said that you will not tolerate their abuse. And that may or may not have been, they may not have um, heeded your directive. They may have like balked at it and said, well, yeah, right. And, and totally been um, dismissive. If the person is narcissistic, chances are if you try to set boundaries with such a person, you will fail miserably because they don't, they feel a sense of entitlement, people like this. And they are not willing to, well, they can't. They don't have the ability, psychologically or whatever you want to call it, to be able to see another person's point of view. It's all about them. And such people are exasperating because they can be very smart. They can be very, um, you know, when I say smart, they could be very analytical and they can really read into things. But when it comes to their own behavior, they may be totally ignorant of it and not, or they distort it and they see it only in a certain light, which it really isn't. Um, with the Nine of Wands, sometimes these fortresses, you know, wasn't there a song by Sting called Fortress of Her Heart or something? But that, that idea of like trying to protect yourself too much, that's always a possibility and not letting anybody in. Um, I wonder if there are two people involved, because we do have as a spiritual message, which is not, is more of the, the mental or the psychological issues, not the actual material things going on, but two of pentacles can be a choice that needs to be made and, um, you know, it may not even be your choice. That's what I'm thinking. That maybe you're with someone who is actually the one choosing between you and somebody else. And, um, and that's and that you feel, you know, bad about that. Maybe you feel kind of apprehensive that this is happening. Uh-oh. I hope this isn't heavy machinery. It's very interesting. It's uh, hard for me to see exactly what the dynamics are here. But the, the practical advice or maybe even description of what's going on here is represented by the Ten of Swords. So this is really what has happened, is that some kind of betrayal has taken place. So what it might be is that somebody in your life, a romantic partner, this Knight of Swords person, had a good offense to defend themselves or good defense for their offense, whatever is the right way of uh, saying it, phrasing it. In other words, they might have tried to come at you with something when they're the one that is being unfaithful 
and and maybe they were making accusations against you or trying to act like you're not good enough and that led you to um, feel this sense of perhaps um, needing to protect yourself in some way and it's really because this person is the one that's toxic like there's nothing wrong with you but maybe this person tried to convince you that there was and um, you know if you identify with someone that there is somebody in your life who is like that knight of swords person understand that this person is not a good influence in your life and so the way you know the very quick way of determining whether somebody belongs in your life is how do they make you feel do they do you always feel like negative emotions heavy emotions when you're spending time with this person that can tell you and by the way swords does relate to air and of course you are an air sign and you may be involved with an air sign too, Libra. But it also um, symbolizes conflict. And so that is important as well. Because that could be saying that you're involved in a relationship that is a lot of, full of a lot of conflict. And maybe you deserve better than that. What is coming in? An offer of love. And look how beautiful this card is. This is one of my favorite cards. And this is, and there's the lotus. And, um, and you know, if you know what the symbolism of the lotus is, it's a flower that rests atop water, but its roots are in mud. And you, if you've ever seen like a white lotus where it's got these pristine petals, but sometimes it's very, you know, muddy around it or underneath it. And it's supposed to symbolize purity, spirituality, um, because it has many petals and, you know, that could be like petals unfolding consciousness, but also that idea of being in the world, but not of the world. So, you know, the dirt, the muck, the grime of material, the material world, and then having that pristine consciousness. Very cool. But in, but in terms of uh, a new beginning, aces, new beginning in love, this is a card of something that is emotional because it's cups so perhaps you in the past have been attracted to somebody because they were brilliant and maybe you felt like they really had um, something to offer you but unfortunately sometimes people who are very intelligent are not very sensitive and they can actually be insensitive and not connected to their heart chakra, be too detached. This person might be a literal water sign, so they or, or have like a prominent moon in water, something that gives them more emotion. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or it could just be anyone who is approaching you from a soulful perspective. Maybe it's even a fire sign like Leo or Sagittarius or Aries and they have passion as well. You know the fire signs can be emotional not in the same way as water signs but they still can be. And the outcome is the Empress card. So this could be like finding love. This is connected to Venus and Venus is all about love. And Maybe before you had a relationship that seemed like it was, you know, you had things in common, especially if you met during, you know, at work.
but you simply didn't have the soul connection that the Ace of Cups represents. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, well, I'm going to pick a Kashuk Tarot card to end the reading. I've been showing the back of these cards because I love it so much. The King of Forces. Oh, I love this card. It's so, I mean, I don't know what it means, but the um, I like the colors in it. I like those purple blues. I mean, let me see. Hmm. Yeah, this might be connected to wands. So maybe there is someone, like a Leo or a Sagittarius or an Aries person, Aries is your opposite sign, who comes into your life at some point. Now this is the foundation card, so this would be explaining why there's that conflict happening. Some of these cards seem to correspond with the tarot that we know. And a man standing by a stream is surrounded by different animals of the woods. The power of nature is all around him, and the earth below his feet, the water running by, and the star-filled nebula in the sky above. Yet he is a force himself, exerting calm, calming influences on the wolf and rabbit, which are natural enemies. Upright... This card indicates a pre a, the presence of a man who has a powerful and positive energy. He comes with good intentions. Gentleness and honesty resonate from him. If you don't know this man yet, his energy will be coming into your life soon. He could bring support for a special project, a work issue, or just your life in general. He may also be a possible love interest. So in order to be open to receiving a man of honor, make sure you engage in honoring and being tender toward yourself. For you or a man around you, there could be a position coming in any of the careers natural to the king of forces, such as electronics, astronomy, physics, geology, alternative fuel, any of the earth science, sciences, and new industries in environmental care. Any activity connecting with earth energy and nature are beneficial to you at this time. Whether you are male or female, this also reveals an important side of yourself. Feel the balance and beauty of nature and know the powerful forces always moving within and around you. Hmm. That started making me wonder if it was the king of pentacles, but um, when they talked about earth. But really, it doesn't matter... Um, what matters is that if there's anybody in your life, Libra, that you feel uncomfortable around, that you, that you always feel like you have to put up a, a wall to protect yourself from this person, and if they are a love interest, understand that they have betrayed your trust in some way. The Ten of Swords, that's what I'm referring to. And uh, maybe you thought you could trust them, but you can't. And maybe it's time to move on. And the Ace of Cups, maybe that when you decide to move on from a negative relationship, there's someone waiting in the wings. The universe, uh, they say nature abhors a vacuum. But first you have to kind of um, make changes so that you're, you can be open for new things to come into your life, for new people, right? Okay, well that's what I have for you, Libra. If you'd like a private love reading, the link to that is below. Have a wonderful September. Bye.